For this experiment, we will need a glass of water, tissue paper, scissors, and a black sketch pen. First, we need to cut a slip of tissue paper like this. Take the sketch pen and draw a line on the bottom part of the paper. After that, carefully put the paper into the water so that the line is just above the water level. This is what it should look like. Let's discuss what chromatography actually is. Chromatography is a process of separation of a chemical mixture. In this experiment, we are using black ink as a chemical mixture and trying to separate it into different constituent colors. It happens because of the difference in the properties of the colors present in the black ink. We dip the tissue paper in water as chromatography works by passing a liquid in our experiment water through a filter material like tissue paper. The professional way of chromatography is through a chromatography paper instead of a tissue paper. But no matter what we use, the molecules of the constituent colors travel at different rates through the filter, thereby separating the molecules into layers that appear as different colored lines on the filter material. So the question is, where is chromatography actually used? Chromatography is used to purify chemicals in industries and test products for quality use. There are several other uses of chromatography. This is what we saw the first time. I don't know if you can see it very well in the picture, but we saw a shade of yellow, red, and blue. To make this a fair experiment, we did it twice. So we carried the same procedures all over again. The cool thing about this experiment is that when we did it the second time, we got even better results. This is a lovely time lapse. In this time lapse, we can see the color separating very well. We can see slight shades of red and blue. This time, it was much better. We got to see shades of yellow, red and blue. So equally perfect. That was amazing. I never knew that chromatography with black ink with a simple tissue would show me so much.